Ah, yeah, we got some new mods for Farming Simulator 19, plus a new semi-truck. Let's check them out. So today we have six mods to talk about. We've got the Hardy Navigator 6000 with some new tire options. That is really cool. We got an update to the Pottinger Vitasim 302. And in my opinion, I don't know if it made it worse or made it better. But we're going to talk about that as well. We also got a new semi-truck, the man TGX Tanker Truck. Ah, yeah. It's, it, it's cool. There, there's some things about it that I'm like, well, couldn't we just do this instead? But hey, it exists. I'm down with it. Also, we got a new ramp. We're going to try and launch this thing into the trees over there. We'll see. Let's we'll see if we get stopped. We've also got new fertilizer tanks. We've got liquid fertilizer and herbicide. And also, we got an update to the Euro Tunnel Pack. Now, on this guy right here, the Hardy Navigator 6000 Row Crop. Let's take a look at that. You're going to find that in the shop, in tools. Then you're going to go over to crop protection. And then you go right here, the Hardy Navigator 6000 Row Crop. 115,000. It's actually the same price as the end game one. But you look at the picture and you're like, oh, yeah. But you select, it's literally the same one when you select it couple little options that we've got we've got a uh what's that right there the u.s safety triangle or we can flip that over to the australians oversized load signs wheel setups we got quite a few we have the 30 inch single row we have the 30 inch twin row we have the 36 inch single 36 inch double wide tires so we've got a really nice little set of tires right there. Plus GPS configurations, yes, or Starfire or 6000. These are prefabs. They're kind of expensive, but they are just prefabs, at least from what I've been able to see. So very cool, very awesome. We've got two different versions here. Here's one with the wide tires on it, and here's one with the twin 36s. This is a really cool looking thing. I may end up using this now. Next, we've got the Pottinger Vitasim 302A. This is not in just Cedars anymore. As we go into Cedars, you say, okay, I expect it to look like this. But no, no, it looks like this. Why? <laughs> it is not a direct drill anymore. They have taken that away from it. So now you have to go get the Power Harrow for it. So let's jump into power arrows there you go now we have this and it is a lot more expensive than i would like it to be Forty-two thousand five hundred. what why this is three meter fifteen thousand does the same thing uh the the, the limpkin three meter ten thousand five hundred does the same thing but no, no, the Pottinger Vitus M302A Cultivator has to be $42,500. Okay, well, what's the price all add up to then? Well, I believe that they have totally forgotten to change the price. Because this is $42,500. So if you really want this Pottinger, oh, if you really want it, you are going to be spending $85,000. Or you can get this one right here, the Kuhn Satara 3000, 18,300. It does the same thing. I'm so irritated at this. They totally forgot to change the price. And and first off, why does it have to be so expensive? I'm complaining, but it's for a reason. It's totally ruined. So if you guys were using this, if you have it in your game, don't upgrade it. <laughs> don't update the mod. It's just pointless. Why? Why would we do this? I'll show you how to do it if you really want. So let's go in. Let's turn everything on. And we drop. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. It won't <laughs> It won't drop. There we go. So we've got our uh, $42,500 uh, <laughs> It's just ridiculous. And then back up to it. And uh you could drop both of them at the same time if you really want. Uh, I don't think you can lower and unlower. It says you're lowering, but you're really not. So there you go. A mod that they've made way worse. Here's a mod that I think is pretty cool. And 
I like it. You're going to find this in vehicles, animals, and then the Man TGX 26640 tanker truck. This is not in semi trucks. Uh, it will do all the normal stuff that a normal semi would do. Drive around, do its thing. It does have trailer hitch on the back. And it does milk and water. 25,000 liters of it. Now, if we go in to animals over here, things that carry milk and water 8,000 32,000 here we've got 5,700 let's go right here 8,000 so nothing holds quite as much and you can hook up trailers to it so if you want to put a dolly back here put a dolly back here and pull the big one if you want to just put the little one you can put the little one back here it does have the same chrome setup so so whatever map the uh, it's based on, it will look like that. For example, this one is Ravenport. You can see Ravenport in it. No big deal. It is what it is. Nonetheless, it's a cool truck. And we can do a couple things to it. Can't really do too much. So we can come in here. We can change the main color and the design color. So main color, we'll go with a pink. And design color, we got chrome, stainless steel, and black. So we got all kinds of stuff here. There's your pink and chrome look right there. That's cool. It's a cool truck. Um, what does it compare to? Let's go take a look at these trucks up here. So I believe that it's based on these two models right here. Um, the 460, 640. So this guy right here, but with a tank on the back. So there you go. Nothing. It's just straightforward. I like it. Next, we've got a placeable concrete ramp. This one, you're going to be able to find this in placeables. Miscellaneous. And click, 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 click until you find it. Oh, and we got to click through a bunch of stuff. We got too much stuff installed. Placeable ramp, $1,000. It's cool. I like it. And it has the smallest lip of any of the ramps. So maybe, just maybe, we can launch something with this. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. It, it, it can be used as a ramp. Now these guys right here are pretty cool. Fertilizer tanks. We have a liquid fertilizer and we have a herbicide. Now when you walk up to it, you're gonna wanna hit B or circle depending on which controller you're using. And there you go. It opens up. How cool is that? Let's see if we can get it in a way where we can actually watch it. Look at that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so to come out. That's cool. Then they both do it. So you got to come up to both of them. There you go. And now we can come through and get liquid fertilizer or herbicide. I keep wanting to say solid fertilizer. So how about this? We got a couple hardy sprayers right here. Let's give these bad boys a try. Let's pull through and pull right under it. Start filling liquid fertilizer. There you go. What about the herbicide? Same thing, just pull under here. We may get stuck with these duels on the back. Nope, there we go. Filling up with herbicide. Very cool, very cool. Again, I don't know if they have to be out. Let's see. For example, let's, let's just turn it off and see. All right, let's move that. Hop in here. And we cannot fill up with herbicide. So you're gonna have to make sure that these are activated. And now we get the tool to hit the button. Okay, I can get down with that. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. I like it. I will tell you, it is pricey. It is very expensive. So be careful, don't uh, don't spend too much money. I still recommend that you use the place, uh, not place anywhere, the buy anything mod. I still recommend that you guys use that. It's available on all platforms. It's the cheapest of anything anywhere and you buy literally anything. So I still recommend that. This is cool. And I think it's more for those of you that really want to play realistic, that want to have something that looks like this in your map. There's nothing wrong with this at all. It works perfect. It's just, it's expensive. And if you're wanting to save money and you're wanting to make more money over time, this may not be the mod that you want to go with. And last but not least, we have an update to the Euro Tunnel Pack. It says fix the body collision and the cell action. And this is update 2.1. So we are rocking and rolling through the updates right now. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so let's see. Collision seems to be normal. Still walk on top of them? Yep, still walk on top of them. 
works for me. Let's see, and the cell action. So let's check that out. Let's go in, and this is our let's play right now for New Woodshire. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. 875 bucks, not too bad. And sell. Oh, well, it's, it, it's just gone. All right. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Six brand new mods for you guys to check out. Very cool stuff going on today. I'm liking the way things are going, and I'm liking that everything is being available for console. That's what I'm really, really happy about. If you guys didn't know, most of the mods, if not all the mods that I review, are all for console. So, keep that in mind. But, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.